Hello again, this is Scott from Soap -A -Go, go and today I'm making Poseidon. This soap was based on a color palette I liked and I matched it with a fragrance I've been wanting to use for quite some time now called Deadly Weapon by Nature's Garden. This is the typical oil blend we use that includes coconut, organic sustainable palm oil by Palm Done Right, virgin cocoa butter from Baraka Shea Butter, olive oil, avocado oil, and castor oil. Creating a soap based on a color palette can be tricky. There are a few things that can change the color of your soap. Um, for instance, using extra virgin olive oil can add a green hue to your soap. So if you want light blue, it comes out more turquoise. I tested this fragrance a couple of years ago and it came out great. I'm pouring off batter for two colors and coloring the main container with Blue Shocker by Mad Micas with some titanium dioxide to lighten it up a little bit. This yellow I'm using is Bright Yellow Raincoat by Mad Micas. I think it's probably my go-to yellow because it really comes out yellow. Um, a lot of times the yellow colors can come out looking a little beige uh, or not as saturated as you might want them to. To avoid over blending, I'm hand stirring the big container with a whisk to make sure everything is combined. This slab mold was custom made for me by Eric at Woodtech Logics. It's the best quality mold I've ever used and Eric is a real craftsman. I've left his link down below if you'd want to check out his other work or reach out to him for your own custom mold. There's a decent amount of mica in this little container which tends to set the soap batter up faster than you might want, but giving it a stir helps to loosen it up again. I'm going to alternate between these colors for a bit of a drop swirl design. This soap is starting to remind me a bit of a Kandinsky painting with all the splatters. So here I'm just using a glass rod to do a simple figure eight design. I try to keep in line with how the loaves of soap are gonna be cut. Sometimes I'm good at that and other times not so much. Now we're going to put this one to bed until tomorrow when it's time to cut it. Okay, we are ready to cut this soap. Already I can see the design on the loaves and I'm really liking it a lot. I really love this drop swirl design and um, when I posted this on Instagram and Facebook I said that this soap didn't have a name yet so I asked followers for name suggestions and I got a lot of great ones but Poseidon was the ultimate winner I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when new videos become available thanks for watching